One Bronx school got a baseball curtain call it will never forget this week. They gave the Yankees a parade fit for a king, and on Tuesday afternoon, one of the baby bombers stopped by to tip his cap to the school as a special thanks on behalf of their pinstripe legends. St. Francis de Chantel, a nearby Throgs Neck, celebrated the Yankees' 27 titles since November, holding several events, including a parade through the neighborhood. And newest bomber Kevin Russo made sure this week's appearance, like the Yankees' most recent championship, would be a moment forever etched in time for these baby bombers. Does it make you feel really good on the inside knowing that you're getting a chance to really brighten up the days of these youngsters? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, like I said before, I'm, I'm glad to be out here. And, you know, if I can brighten anyone's day, that's, that's good for me. Um, you know, it makes me feel good. The rookie was introduced by the newest voice of the Yankees, public address announcer Paul Olden, who emceed the event. The festivities included a home run derby between Russo and one lucky young man. Although the contest ended in a homerless draw, Olden believes Russo earned some new fans. Talk about getting a chance to come out into the Bronx community and what it feels like for you to give back. Well, this is the second or third time I've done this now. I had a couple of times last year, went to a couple of schools, and it's just great to be uh, with, the, with the players and, and out in the community. The event was organized by the Bronx Chamber of Commerce President Lenny Carroll, the Throgs Neck Little League, St. Francis de Chantel, and the Yankees under the direction of Special Advisor Ray Negron. What do you think it's like for these youngsters to see someone like Kevin Russo who, who has really worked very hard to get to the major leagues? What kind of role model do you think he's going to be for these youngsters? I think he's going to be a great role model. They could, uh, you can see hard, what hard work gets you, you know. He didn't get there by, uh, by not doing anything, you know. He worked hard. He played Little League Baseball. Little League Baseball is very important. In addition to the memories, the local elementary school got a sparkling gift for its trophy case. Well, it's, it's a dream come true for me because I'm a Yankee fan from way back, so it's just an awesome feeling.